Number 27. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentration of ions in a saturated solution of each of the following, and then see Appendix J for those solubility products, which is exactly what I did. So the question that they're asking for is, what's the, the, the concentrations of the ions in AGI, silver iodide? And I had to go in the back of the textbook to find that that solubility product, the SP, is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16th. Now, since we're dealing with solubility products, we know that this compound is starting off as a solid and breaking down into its ions. So we have to write the formula. So this should be pretty straightforward. We've been doing this time and time again, right? AGI, solid, comes to equilibrium because we're dealing with K values with its two ions. The split is obviously between the silver and the iodine. So Ag plus I, we need those charges in the upper right-hand corner, right? Silver always just has a plus one charge, and iodine, since it's bound with a metal, that has the negative one charge. We have charges, so they're definitely going to be aqueous, and this equation is already balanced. So I'm just going to position this pretty nicely over here. Now with the balanced equation comes the general KSP equation. I'm going to use the general formula. KSP equals just the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients to just get our formula. So here we have KSP equal to the two products because those are the aqueous ones. So I have Ag plus, the concentration of Ag plus, times the concentration of I minus. And since both of them don't have any coefficients in front of them, that means that they were just one of them, right? One a piece. So we can raise these to the first, but it doesn't really make a difference for the math. The KSP is what we got in the back of the textbook, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16th. But we don't know what the concentration of the silver and the iodine is. That's when we start making up variables. I go back to my balanced equation and I just label it as X, right? I don't know how much AGI um, Ag plus one I have, so I'm just going to label it as x, and it would be one x because you just put the coefficient in front. And since it's a one to one, this would also be x. And here I now have my two variables, right, that I'm going to plug in into my equation. So Ag is going to be x, and I is also going to be x. So 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16th equals we have x times x, right, this times this, but x times x is just x squared. Solve for x, just take the square root. Let's get that math in. Square root of 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16th. I get 1.2, so x equals 1.2 times 10 to the negative 8th, and that's molarity. Now, we just have to answer the question. Calculate the ions. The ions is the charged ones. So here we go. We have Ag plus, and we have I minus. Since Ag and I were both x values, the concentrations would just be that number. So for both of them, you have 1.2 times 10 to the negative eighth molarity that you will form when in a saturated solution. And that's it. If I just box these answers off, that's the end for this one. <laughs> pretty simple, right, guys? Okay, that's pretty good. So, what'd you think? Let me know in the comments. I really hope this helped. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much, my brother and I. We really do appreciate you all. I'm really glad that we're helping you out in your class. Keep studying hard. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.